Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. Clearly, we've had an absolute stinker to start off. It doesn't take rocket appliances to see that, you know, TJ has struggled out of the gate here. We have a 553 GAA, oh my word, and an 828 save percentage with a record of 02 and 0. So, we have some bouncing back to do here, to say the least. And hopefully, we can get that done today. But let's view the lines here for Edmonton. And just kind of go through the roster. We have Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, and Yamamoto as our first line. Pugliarvi, Dreisaitl, Druen. Our third line is Hyman, Deno, and Barabanov. And then we have Fogel, McLeod, and Ratcliffe. Okay, defensively, Nurse and Barry. Bouchard and Giordano, Graves and Hall. Pretty good. And in net, we have TJ and Pavel. So I do have three abilities. Well, an X-Factor and two abilities now. And 87 overall. Pretty good, but those stats beg to differ, so we really have to do something about that. Anyway, yeah, the Golden Knights have our number so far. Let's see if we can fight back right here, right now. First period. All right, that's okay. 1-1 one, one tie after one. Second period. Ooh, okay, we're down by one. Oh, my word. We're going to get swept, aren't we? This is disgusting. I could be wrong here, but I feel like the whole team hasn't really had a strong start to these playoffs because we well i mean just based off of that even first pe how does that almost go in like how bro <laughs> that normally wouldn't happen it's like in playoffs only oh my word anyway it didn't go in thankfully was able to keep it out still somehow and we're not standing up for our teammates in the playoffs phenomenal that is great for team camaraderie plus uh, now we're going to be down a player, probably, because... Was it Yamamoto, I think, that got hurt there? Might have been. Anyway, well, hopefully we can score. And yeah, as I was saying, in the first period, they doubled our shots. They had 12 and we had 6. I mean, it was 1-1, but still. Yeah, I feel like the Golden Knights are really keeping us back. They have figured out the Edmonton Oilers, and they know how to shut us down. And they definitely know how to solve me. So... Yeah, they got it all going for them right now, and uh, the Oilers should be hitting that panic button. It looks like Yamamoto is back out there, so we might not have to be down a man after all. If it even was him that got rocked, I'm still not really sure if it was him or not. I think it was, though, so we should be okay, and that X-Factor shot from Jack Eichel was terrifying. But it was saved nonetheless. No! We hit the post and then Theodore almost drove it into their own net. That would have been spectacular. But unfortunately, did not end up going in. Okay, another save there on March or so. He tried to go in five hole. Cheeky, cheeky. Darnell Nurse has it in the middle. Carrying it up across that very convoluted center ice icon. Oh my, nice try. That would have been a sick play. The Knights are back. Marchessault -so goes for a shot. And I will pass that over to you, Barry, as whoever 63 was. I think Marchessault -so is 63, maybe? No, Dadnov. I don't know. It's one of the two, I think. But anyway, yeah, he was crashing the net hard. Okay, it is Dadnov. And he gets it over to Chandler, who is now in. Goes to take a slap shot. That will go off Giordano skate. Here we go, Gio. Headmans it to Drew N. The Oilers are in over the line. In the middle, Leonard slides way too far, but still manages to make the glove save. I could never. Whenever I slide too far, it's just a guaranteed goal, and there is literally nothing I can do about it. Got a draw to the right of Robin Leonard. Let's go, Dreisaitl. Win that clean. He does not. He loses it clean, as a matter of fact. So at least you did the clean part. Good pass. What a play. Holy crap. That was an S-tier play. The little give-and-go. Where were the defense, by the way? They were nowhere to be found. Robbie was just left out to dry. But, wow. we What a goal. Boom and boom. Literally had the entire net. And he decides to celebrate with the post. Interesting choice there, Leon. Dadanov. Oh, my word. He clapped that. But, it will not get past TJ. Smother that one, and that will have a draw to the left here. Deno against Malkin this time. Let's see if Deno can best Malkin in the dot. No, he cannot. Malkin wins yet another one. Ooh, my positioning was horrific. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm so happy that hit the post. If that went in, that would have been heartbreaking. All right, Hyman carrying it up the ice. And he's in over the blue line. Stops up. Nice pass in the middle. And what a shot, but a great save. Chandler getting run over. And that should hopefully generate some momentum here for the boys. Dad, no. Really? Say it ain't so. That was just ridiculous, man. I made the save, and then what even happened? Instant replay. Oh, now we're down by one again. So I make the save, and then Bouchard decides, hey, let's uh, stuff it into our own goalie. Oh, yeah, but of course. All right, Suter. Ooh, Bouchard going to be there for that one. Kane ripped that and missed the net barely by the looks of it, but that, okay, that was not barely. That was a big old miss. Like, that was impressive, to say the least. <laughs> anyway, come on, guys. We need to get a goal here. We really do. Cross ice pass to Kane, who's going to dangle. I think, yeah, he has the most playoff goals currently, as of when I'm recording this, which is May 27th. He has the most goals in the playoffs currently. And what a mad lad. Okay. Suter gets the puck. McDavid pressuring him. Holy, he's all over him. Nice job, McDavid, on the forecheck. But the Golden Knights still able to get it out. Kane again is going to lose it. Here we go, boys. Nuge is in. Gets stopped at the line, but somehow almost manages to fight through three different Knights. Eichel carrying it in. Gets knocked off. And Yamamoto will be there for that one. All right, boys. We really need one here. We do. We're down by one. Good pick by Nuge. Come on. Ah, oh, no, he lost it. Way to go, McDavid. This guy is a workhorse. He is keeping that puck in by all means necessary. And unfortunately, we still are not able to really get much of an attack going from it. Here come the Golden Knights again. Over the line. In the middle to Eichel. Another save for TJ. Add that to the tally. Marcheseau. Yeah, Marcheseau's 81. That's right. And another save... I tried to pass it out, I'm going to be honest, but I'm really glad that it didn't. Let's try to hit him with that reverse sweep, you know? You know what I'm saying? Here we go. That is a uh, power play for your Edmonton Oilers. We need to capitalize here. We really do. If we don't capitalize here, then I think it's uh, time to just really hope that we can somehow reverse sweep. But yeah, there we go. What a goal by Deno. And not really by him. I mean, mostly the other members of this team that were out on the ice. Martinez trying to get in on a celebration. I don't think so, dude. You've had enough of your own celebrations. Good passing. And buries it on the blocker side. Very quick into that power play. And now we have a tie hockey game once again. It is threes in the third. With how much time left? Five minutes still. Wow, okay. So, tons of time for this deadlock to be broken. And us to avoid overtime. Oh my word. I just feel... <clears throat> Hello? <laughs> what just happened to my voice? I feel utterly useless back here. We're getting another power play. Let's go. Let's go. We need this. If we score again, then all the momentum is on our side. That would be massive. All right. They win the draw. That's okay. They're going to probably send it down. Or not, because our forecheck has been immaculate recently. Nice pass in front and a great save to keep his team up by... Well, no, not up by one, actually. To keep this game tied, I should say. But to keep his team from not being down by one. Battle in front. Still not able to get one. Engvall going to send it down the ice. That might bounce. Ah! I don't want to do it! Oh, my. I thought I was going to get the penalty, and I would have been very, very upset. But thankfully... I don't know if the ref didn't see it, but I certainly did handle it in the outer trapezoid area for at least a microsecond. What a goal. What a goal. Deno going to hand it off to Pool Party, and that gives the Edmonton Oilers a lead. That's huge. That is huge. We now have a 4-3 game in favor of the good guys, and probably like four minutes to go or something. I can't see it. The microphone's in the way. Yeah, I, I just... That's the way the setup is right now. <laughs> and it probably won't be changing anytime soon. I got to kind of like, huh? Oh, wow. There's only two minutes left. All right. We're down to the two-minute warning here. The toonie, if you will. 
And now the boys have the lead. All right, I gotta, I gotta get into it here. Drew N, going back the other way. Nice. Oh yeah, Martinez is gonna strip that, but that's okay because our four check has been unbelievable. We have been pressuring their defense like no tomorrow. Here come the Golden Knights. Giordano gonna pick it off at the line. Dry saddle with it now. He's bringing it back into our own zone, which I do not appreciate. Oh my word. Okay, we have a Golden Knights attack here that thankfully didn't amount in a shot, and we missed the empty net. Unbelievable. Come on, guys. Do you want to win or not? All right, Dadanov, he's in. He takes a slap shot. It gets blocked. Another shot will be saved by TJ, and the time is slowly running out here, but not fast enough. I need these 27 seconds to fly by. Draw to the left of TJ. Will we get a draw win this time? No, we will not. Jack Eichel going to win it clean. Stone has it along the boards and he kicks it down low. Eichel behind the net. Nice. Good defensive play. Now Nuge with it. No, he has it picked off. Yo, oh, he almost got the cross crease pass there. But luckily, the defender blocked it. And now McDavid with an empty net. This is a 2-1 series, which is much, much different than a 3-0 series. Why is it showing Yamamoto? Just the good sportsmanship of passing it for the empty netter? I have no idea, but that is odd. Well, there you have it. A big Game 3 W for the Edmonton Oilers. And now we have ourselves a series. How many shots did they end up having? They ended up having 33. So that is a huge bounce back performance from TJ. That goal was just something else. But yeah, that was a well-needed performance from us, <laughs> TJ, because we were looking horrendous out there. Nothing, James? It looked like you were going to say something, but I guess you uh, chickened out last second. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Sim to next game. All right. We are still in Las Vegas, and we... Need another W. All right, this would be clutch if we could go from losing two in a row to winning two in a row. Yeah, hopefully we can get her done. So here we go. Simulate the game against the Golden Knights. First period. Boom. All right, shots are even. Score is even. Second period. Ah, oh, we're down by one again. We got to fight back. 22 shots, no goals. Hopefully that changes here when we jump in. So once again, the Oilers are playing from behind here. I came out to just challenge that because otherwise he was going to have a clear cut kind of thing there. And luckily it sort of worked out. But yeah, that was a scary start. Get the nerves going right away. March is so going to get dropped. Holy what a hit. I like the way we're starting this third period. On, well, not so much the almost breakaway thing, but that hit alone. Gonna generate some momentum. Ferda. So that's good. Nuge is in. It's almost weird seeing these jerseys now. Like, they don't even look real. <laughs> Just so used to wearing other ones, I guess. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're rocking them today. I gave the Golden Knights their alternate jersey this time instead of their reverse retro, which, uh, what retro? They've been in the league for like a year and a half. And obviously not actually. I'm being dramatic, but you know what I mean. Anyway, big save there. To start off, we got six points from Leon so far, which is a thing of beauty. Considering this is only game four, it's pretty unreal if you ask me. We are getting dominated in the center dot. Well, not just the center dot, all the dots. <laughs> all the face-off dots, we are being bullied. So we have to do something about that. Petrangelo has it at the point that will get knocked out. And Theodore will be back for that one. Malkin in now. Gets pinned against the boards by McDavid. And he still ends up coming out with it. Goes for a deke, but Barry will be there to intercept that. And the Edmonton Oilers will get the puck out, but maybe not for long. Never mind. Drouin manages to get past Dadanov. Tries to cut in the middle, but will not succeed. Here's Chandler. Oh, no. Yes, Nurse. Thank you for getting there, you legend. That would have been... Possibly a breakaway or possibly a two-on-one, which both of those not a big fan of. So I am definitely thankful that you stepped up for that and came and got the puck. Is that a... Oh my goodness, we're getting another power play. This is lovely. 
Hopefully we can capitalize on this again and tie the game up again. That would be splendid. Let's go Oilers. Come on, boys. Deno, let's see if you can finally get a draw win here. Perhaps. Oh, yeah? No. Still no. But, you know what? Valiant effort, to say the least. All right, McNabb sending it down the ice. I'm going to get there for that. Pass that over to you, Bouchard, who decides, hey, I'm just going to play with this puck in front of the net when there's no goalie there. Just for fun, you know? The thrill of it, really. Jared McCann going to send it in. Uh, it won't get to me on time. Pinned behind the net. Come on, guys. We're on the power play here. Let's go. Pool party. Goes for a pass that hits Hyman Skate. This is not the power play we were looking for. Good shot there by Yamamoto. And we have half the power play gone. With not a lot of offense generated. Yams goes for a shot. Okay. Bouchard with it now goes for a high glove snipe. I think that would have missed the net. But Leonard made the stop anyway. All right. We're, we're doing okay after that, you know, kerfuffle of a first minute. We sort of got a little bit going there. But still, no goal. Not able to break the ice here. McDavid goes back to Bouchard. His shot will be blocked. And Riley Smith will send it down the ice. Okay. Uh, let's go for a... Oh my word, what did I just... What did I do? My, my brain stopped working as well. It's like I panicked so hard that everything just stopped working. <laughs> Rebound! Oh, so close. I don't know why I tried to make that pass, by the way. Like, that was just straight up dumb. There's no other way to explain it. We have Dreisaitl and McDavid out there at the same time, so this should be a goal, theoretically. We got Nuge as well, but yeah, they just pretty much put three guys into the corner there. End up winning the battle. Now they are back in our zone, but McDavid has a partial breakaway here. You're telling me McDavid isn't going to get a breakaway out of that? Game's unrealistic. What a joke. He would have had a clear cut. Guy is fast as anything. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Opportunity wasted, but Nuge gets to walk out here. He almost crams it in the far side there, but not able to score still. Man, I feel like our team just is not generating a whole lot of offense here. That was very scary. Can we win a draw now? Yes, we can. That is... Going to be our first draw win of the series, it feels like. Get the puck in deep. Pie Trangelo. There to pick it up. Yes, I know. It is, in fact, Petrangelo. McLeod will be there in the neutral zone. Carries it in now. Gets over to Ratcliffe, who goes for a shot. That will be saved by Robin Leonard. Oh, we're running out of time here. We got 7.22 left. We're still... You know, not able to score anything on Robin Leonard. He has a shutout. At the moment. Um, just in case, I'll say it louder for the people in the back. He has a shutout. So hopefully that gets ruined soon. Dadanov below the line. Holy smokes, that was close. But thankfully it didn't go in. Alright, I was going to try to smother that. But it ended up finding its way onto Bouchard's twig. And now Malkin with it. Nice poke. Great defense right there. Otherwise he would have had a shot right in the open. Chandler manages to get it back for his team, but he will be shut down instantly after coming across the blue line. Barabanov. Oh, yeah? Muscles past that hit. Ratcliffe. Let's do it. Nice. Is he firming it? He kind of firmed it, but then he got pinned. Ah, no. Theodore is going to be there for that. All right. We are definitely running out of time now. Dadanov has it in the zone. Nurse will be there for that. We got four... Minutes left on this clock, and we have an offside as well. Splendid. Let's go, Oilers. Pass that. No! Oh, I thought it was a goal. I already thought it was a goal. I assumed he was going to pass it back door for the easy tap in, but no, he wasn't able to. Ah, that's unfortunate. Come on, Oilers. Time is expiring here. I mean, to be fair, I've pretty much done my job. I've only let in one goal. Uh, I think you guys just need to score one at this point, you know? But, yeah, Robin Leonard is playing very, very well. Oh, man. What just happened? The heck was that, Marcheseau? Wait, that was that was Marcheseau. Yeah, never mind. Dadunov's 63, Marcheseau's 81. Got it. I'm probably going to get pulled any second now. And as I say that, the coach calls for me. So let's get off the ice. Wherever the board thing may be. Try to watch the play here. Oh, no. 
Yes, I love that dry sidle. Instead of just backing up all the time, he actually stepped up for the hit, and somehow that happens. Why is that a fight? That was a clean hit. He just rocked him. There's no way that's a penalty. For roughing? Referee, you can't be doing that. You cannot be doing that. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, we're down 3-1 in the series now. Pretty much confirmed. Marchiso goes for a shot. Ooh, my shot on the doorstep. It will be kicked aside. Chandler now going to get run over. And I am headed back to the bench. And instead of having a 6-on-5, we will instead have a 5-on-5 five five with an empty net. And here comes Kane. Nice. Step up for the hit. We got reverse hit, but at least he lost the puck. Deno had it. Oh, man. It really sucks that it was Dreisaitl, too. He would have been nice to have out on the ice. And that's a goal. All right. No, he hit the post. Holy crap. Okay. Ten seconds. Here we go. Graves to McDavid. McDusty in the middle to McLeod. How much time do we got? Seven seconds in the middle. Come on, guys. No, it's done. It's done. The Edmonton Oilers are down three to one in this playoff series and get shut out in game number four. Where did our offense go? I feel like we just fell off a cliff. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm going to be second star and then obviously Leonard's going to be the first star. A 34 save shutout in the loss, nonetheless. Well then, unfortunate, but we are not done yet. We are not done yet. We still have a chance. To say the least. Okay, let's go over to... How'd I not... I performed just fine, thank you. But anyway, sim to the next one. We have a conversation with the reporter. Is it going to be another... Oh, win the series. Probably, right? Uh, maintain a... 999 save percentage. Okay. How confident are you that you're going to get the series turned around in your favor? Sure. And I... Fine. Over promise. We have two promises to win the series, which means I'm going to have two darn cutscenes where they're like, oh, you failed. You suck. And like, you know, just pretty much rub it in my face. I'm going to use my one uh, tree trait point, whatever it is, on dialogue, I suppose. So unlock level one diplomatic answers. Ta-da. <laughs> yeah. Why not, right? Okay. So... We are now 1-3-0. Is there any perks I can buy to give us a little boost here? I don't really care about that. Uh, is, actually, is that permanent? This is a permanent perk. Yeah, okay. An 80s car? Sure. Gives our primary line score, which we need. Social media followers and teammate like ability, which might actually affect the gameplay. So I am down with that. Uh, let's buy... Oh, that's only 180 days, though. Okay, well, maybe we should still... Ah, let's see if there's anything permanent. Any other permanent perks that we can grab here? I already have that one. Uh, I can buy... Oh, big gym. Yeah, let's upgrade our gym then. Cool. Okay, insufficient funds for that one. 180, 180, 180. I mean, I guess, like, that's pretty good, but I just want to try and find some permanent ones here, you know? Uh, community manager. Permanent perk, and it gives us social media teammate and brand boosts. Huh. Finances? Nope, doesn't look like it. Investments? Nope. Donations, you say? Services? You know what, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get the, uh, community manager. There we go. Alright, yeah. We'll, uh, call it a day at that. Maybe I'll buy this. It's a temporary perk, but... It's only a hundred grand, so that's not much considering the salary of TJ. And yeah, that's about it. So hopefully we can bounce back here and win two in the next episode and push it to a game seven. But we need some offense. We really do. So hopefully we get that going soon. But thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you soon.